So here I am taking the existing project only so that I can add an extra dependencies which required for uh, Cucumber and then we'll fill it up here. Okay. The first thing that you have to add is we have to add the dependencies. So which dependencies we need to add? Cucumber. When you add Cucumber, so we have multiple uh, multiple things we have here. So you have to choose uh, here too. So there are two versions of Cucumber. One is info.cubes and then io.cucumber. The better the option that we take is io.cucumber, okay? So io.cucumber's Cucumber has to be taken. The version of current Cucumber is phi.x, okay? So we'll take the phi.x. Now, so copy, and then add it in the form.xml. Which one I have taken here is like the Cucumber Java. So we are using Java binding, right? That's what we have taken. And the next one we have to use, we have to use this uh, test ng, okay? We use uh, test ng, right? Where is this test ng? Yeah. Java dot I to compare. So we need to add the test ng. Okay. As of now, these two bindings are that fine. So we should be good with that. Okay, so once you have these two, then the next step is like, see, uh, Cucumber is divided into three parts. Okay, let me tell you what they are. First one is the feature file. Okay, so it's a feature file. In the feature file, what we write is we write the scenarios. Okay, a scenario is a test case where it will contain the multiple steps. Okay, like that you'll have multiple uh, files, feature files. You'll have multiple feature files. Okay, that is the first one. Second one is you will have something called a runner. A runner is something, okay, this is runner. And this is a feature, okay? So runner file, if you run this runner file, this feature file is going to be triggered, okay? So this feature file is going to be triggered. And from there, uh, what this feature file will contain is with this feature file contains the steps, scenarios and steps, right? Okay, these steps will be defined in a place called uh, step definitions. Okay, let's I'll simply call it as steps. Now, you have runner and feature steps. Runner file will trigger feature file. Feature file will have uh, steps and those will be triggered in the step definitions. These step definition methods, okay, are reusable methods. Actually, these methods are going to call the actual implementation. Let's say if it is pom.xml or any utilities, okay, sorry, it is page object model or any other utilities, there is going to be triggered. Okay, so that's how the C things will work here. Runner, feature, step definitions, and then uh, this is page object model. Okay, page object model. Page object model is nothing but you will have uh, multiple sets of uh, uh, classes which contains the ceiling functionalities. Okay, and uh, this is some common utilities, so reading the files or whatever it is. There. These are the utilities. Now, if this is like PDD framework, right? Now, normal framework, how it will look like. 
okay so the normal framework without bdd it looks like you will have test scripts you will have page objects you will have utilities and then like for this one and this one the reporting part is same so i do not worry about it okay so the first thing that it will do is like it will have test cases test case orchestration which reusable method has to be called and then this is page object and then this is utilities see actually what it is adding is this test cases will be triggered from let's say uh test engine.xml okay so test engine.xml will have the test cases test cases will trigger page object models and utilities and then it will prepare the reports similarly runner class will tr trigger feature feature file will trigger step definitions and then it will uh trigger page objects and the utils whenever they need so it's a it's add on one extra layer which is features okay feature file will add you the better readability okay better readability that's what it offers now we'll go to the test case see i think everything is added now i am going to create a sample feature file where do i create i create in src test resources create a new folder let's say the folder name is features and then inside this features i am going to create another let's say some folder which is called as let's say uh, employee okay inside that you will have file right this file you have to create with a feature file so how does it look like is let's say um, emp dot employee dot feature okay so employee dot feature will be having uh, like this is a feature file this is an example feature file where you can write your gherkin language okay so here you write the gherkin language now you have okay this is the da uh, data that we got right um, this is the sample it will come only if you install a get like uh, cucumber plugin in your eclipse where do you install go to the help go to the eclipse marketplace okay there you can search with cucumber then it will show you a list of plugins that you can install out of them choose the cucumber okay cucumber eclipse plugin so this is the same cucumber people have developed it so once you install this it will ask you to restart after we starting creating the create a feature file it will give you an a sample template okay inside that uh, i'll explain what are all the terminology that we have now so that it will be uh, it, you can understand in a better way see hash is the comments okay and you know author is your name keywords is like uh, what keyword summary whatever the if you want to if you are searching with a lost law or number of cases then you have to sort it together right so uh, that we have and then yeah the first one you see here is feature okay feature is a keyword in gherkin language 
where it will tell us uh, what is this feature file all about okay what we are going to test with this feature file so title of your feature my teacher my feature file is verify our employee operations okay i want to this is the description i want to verify create fetch or get read delete operations of employee okay this is what i want to do here just whatever it it makes sense to you you can write there okay after feature you have to you should not give this space in between feature and colon you should not have space but after colon you can write this space but before that it should not be and whenever you enter this should be like one tab or a two space uh, distance has to be followed okay and now inside that uh, this tag and tag one and tag two are uh, actually these are uh, you can say groups or keys or keywords so what this will provide us is you can uh, if you are giving let's say test one tag one and tag two these tags uh, you specify in a whole let's say you have 10 different feature files and you will have 20 tags with our 20 scenarios with the same tag name okay then you can run only you can run only those cases by providing this tag okay tag id that always starts with at the rate so when you see at the rate here in the feature file you can understand it's a tag now the another keyword that we have here is scenario okay what scenario does is like uh, it's a subset of your uh, cake Sorry. subset of your uh, feature so feature is a high level and then it contains multiple scenarios here uh, my scenario here is verify okay, verify create new employee this is my verification okay okay so this is a scenario keyword i told you right so after scenario also you should not have any space between the colon okay inside that scenario you will have steps okay now steps are divided into four difficult uh, four okay so four different kinds of annotations or four different kinds of keywords which are given and when then okay so each one has its own specific purpose but uh, in on the high level you can use any term as you want okay so they are not in that particular order they are not like uh, you have to use this one only so you can use it in any order now what do we have here is the first one is given so given is something like a kind of uh, operation that you want to have already or you want to do okay so given the OPS application is up and running and uh, token is available okay so what we have given the token is available are given okay. 
okay once you uh, bearer token is available what do you do you want to send the request with the uh, data right so how do you do that when you want to complete an action and then you validate the outcome so given is a precondition when is what what are the test case that you want to do and then then is okay so the response validator okay after the response came so you will check it whether it contains some data or not okay now forget about this okay so here what we have here is like given bearer token is available and i don't want to do anything here when create employee request send okay create employee or prepare or create employee uh, what does we have to do in order to uh, prepare the employee let me open that okay hmm. a lot of information we need to send um, okay anyway i'll send few what is the name that we have we have to send the id we have to send the uh, email okay uh, i'll send the first name these three i'll send right now remaining i will put in an empty we'll see what will happen okay so create an employee barat okay and then id 12 okay id 12 and then what is the third one you have mm. create an employee email id right let's say barat at the red gmail.com prepare employee request and send the post request okay send the post request so what will happen you can have that then validate you validate 200 uh, response code and validate success message in body okay you see by reading this what do you understand okay you can understand easily what uh, what is the test case that you want to test in this one okay so what it is saying here uh, it says that verify create new employee uh, and then given bearer token is available when uh, when you prepare actually you can put it in a first first person when you create a you, you prepare create employee uh, with this data create an employee request and send the post request okay post call it's a I'll call it as post call and then validate 200 response code validate success message in body so this uh, this is a plain english format uh, with that 
we can understand anybody reads this can understand what this particular test case is doing in this scenario okay so what are the predefined keywords that we see in this page as of now is feature okay feature and then scenario followed by given when then and okay these are the uh, predefined keywords of uh, gherkin language now you see uh, something i have put it in the uh, how like uh, double quotes or numbers okay so these are the data that you want to pass it to your test case and test with this data okay you know test data right test data what we have done is usually we should uh, either we uh, keep them uh, in the uh, test case itself or we create dynamically we generate okay here in this case instead of you put that in your java code this data is available in the feature file so how do you know that it is the data you can check for double quotes if you see the double quotes then you can say that it's a uh, data and also uh, if it is double quotes it's a string data okay if it is a number it's an integer data okay that will be like um, when you run this program this corresponding step definition should have a methods available to this uh these the steps that are defined okay now this is a feature file or the second part of it or the other part of it is uh this feature file has to be triggered from a runner class so what we are going to define here now is a runner class so any questions here as of now i hope you understand these basic things okay so now i'll choose comrade res dot uh, this one obs there you create runner class so how does that runner class will define is like you can use any format let's say i'll choose uh, this employee runner okay employee runner this is this class okay so when it is uh, employee runner use different uh, uh, approaches to run the test cases right one you have test ng another you have uh, uh, j unit okay if you are following uh, test ng what you need to do is here you have to extend abstract test ng cucumber test this is the class that you have to extend this is the first step here the second step you have to do is you have to add an annotation called at the rate cucumber options what is that cucumber options when you write cucumber options in these brackets you have to define what kind of options that you want to provide to that test case or to the feature file one the first one you have to write here is which feature file that you want to map with this runner okay you can map one feature file or group of feature files or a folder so you can do that now which feature file this is the feature file right okay so this is a feature file okay so of this, this is a first step and the second step what you need to do is you should carefully observe what i have done is i have added a key and a value 
comma and i am going to add one more key see uh, these uh, steps whatever the steps that we have in the feature file there should be one class which decides that uh, which uh, step def like which class or package contains the step definitions let's say new uh, class employee step defs okay so i let's say i'll add a new package steps okay steps has uh, employee step dev right so you have to tell selenium that to verify that uh, um, steps in this class okay equivalent step methods but you have to provide that here so how do you provide that by using a key called glue okay so glue will be like a package name where your step definition contains or it's a parent package works to form dot res dot ops okay so if i provide this glue that means it will search for all these sub packages where you have uh, your uh, step definition files okay this is the second one and then there are a couple of other things too okay but these two are important for now just like i'll keep these two okay mm, let me add it's not auto sessions are not clean let's check okay so you have these things features glue tags plugin okay so yeah you can give this plugin plugin equals to one value okay what kind of plugins that you can give is there are wide variety of plugins available just now what i do is i'll just ignore these two i will have okay now you see i have done three things here i have created a feature file and i have created a runner class to execute that and i have created an a step definition class which does not have any step definitions okay now i'll run this test case or feature file where do i run it from i run it from my runner class right click run as testing the test so what it is going to do us is it is saying that it's skipped okay and the reason for that is <clears throat> you have empty uh, step definitions whatever the steps that we have provided in the employee does not have the valid steps available in your step definition class so it provided what are all the missing steps that you do not return for the feature file okay so take this as a reference and copy them okay uh, to your step definition class and then try to understand what they are okay now you see whatever the the application how it works this cucumber is you have written bearer token is available okay for that step some operation has to be performed those operations written inside a method okay what what has to happen when you do bearer token is available those steps available inside a method when this step is executed that method has to be called 
okay how do you map that this method and this step and that method so that's where there is this annotations comes into picture which is called as at the rate given at the rate when at the rate then and and okay so you have you see here given right whenever you see given for your method what you have to do is at the rate given and io dot cucumber dot java dot in and for this bracket it has to be whatever the value that it is available it has to be exact match to this one even capital small space everything match marks okay so what you need to do is you have to give the value in this annotation okay then what it will do is this method is going to be triggered see here it is throwing a runtime exception pending exception i don't need it so bear a token available let's say right now i am just printing this method has been triggered or executed uh let's say bear a token available i am just printing this message so that you can understand this method has been triggered okay what is the next step that we have you prepare request you prepare create employee and you see here these are variables right okay request and the last you will have request now this is annotation is west uh, when annotation okay see at the rate when okay that is imported and you prepare create employee up to here the same wherever the variables occurs you have to give this brackets okay so in this brackets if it is a string it you have if it is a like word it is string you have to give string if it is in a number you have to give int okay and the third one is also string so what it is having here one string integer and string three things we have now that it has been defined here so these are variables right whenever this method is triggered these variables comes into picture then what you have to do is you have to provide uh, these parameters to read them these values will be read it from here okay so what does it is having name id and then email okay so now now this is the match so previously in cucumber 2 you have to write this uh, regular expressions okay so to do these things uh, to match these values okay either this text or this text or this text now from uh, cucumber 3 okay so it has a provision to automatically uh identify without those all regular expressions okay this is a simplest form now send the post call you see here send the post call have and but by default it came then it's okay okay by default it came when it's okay uh, and and when is fine so so this and is kind of uh, just adding the uh, things right so that's why they gave like uh, at the rate when and then at the rate uh, and okay it okay. came so you can use in uh, either of two okay after that what is the next one you have validate response so this will be status code and then validate message in your body right string message and what they are going to print 
Here you are going to print. Request. Name. ID. I'll just printing them, okay? I'm not adding any function to that. Email. Okay. Now you have this. I'm just validating whether the data is coming from step definitions or not. All step definitions are able to trigger or not. I just validate these two. Okay. Now, if I want to run this program, what I need to do, I'll come to employee.runner and then run this runner class. And see, Bharat token is available. Request name is Bharat Joel, employee uh, Bharat at the score gmail.com. Send the post call, status code is 200. Response body verification success. Okay. So this cucumber feature has been executed. Okay. Any questions here till now?